Hello YouTube. What you see here is the Toshiba Satellite Pro 480 CDT. A very typical business grade late 90s laptop. There's one huge problem with these laptops and trying to maintain them in this modern day and age. They still use mechanical hard drives, and particularly small ones, and their IDE. IDE laptop drives are becoming harder and harder to find these days. But there is one really, not really all that cheap, but certainly very affordable way to upgrade these, upgrade these things from mechanical storage to solid state storage, or flash storage, if, if you will. And that's by converting these from the IDE hard drives to compact flash. And that's what we're going to do with this satellite pro here. So I got this stuff in the mail today. This is the actual converter from compact flash to IDE. And this is a four gigabyte compact flash card, 133X. Which should be more than fast enough for this. Okay. So here's the adapter. Let's get it out of its packaging first. You know what? I'll get these things unwrapped and then we'll start looking at the laptop itself. Okie dokie, so there it is, the 4GB Transcend flash card, compact flash card, is in the IDE enclosure, or adapter. I got inspired to do this uh, a while ago, I believe like 3 to 4 weeks ago, when YouTube user Elmol3 converted his old Packard Bell desktop system to solid state storage as well. So I just went online to Deal Extreme. I'm just taking all, out all of these components for no apparent reason, but okay. But uh, I lost my train of thought there. So YouTube user ML3 converted his Packard Bell to solid state storage or flash storage. And I was like, hmm, I should do this on my Toshiba Satellite Pro because this thing, well, the hard drive in this thing is starting to age. And it's uh, not in all that great condition anymore. And this is actually one of the laps that I actually want to really, you know, preserve as much as I can. Because I just totally love this thing. It has a, a Yamaha OPL3 sound chip. It's also found in the Sound Blaster 16. So that makes it great for DOS games. That's what I want to use it for, primarily. Until I get my uh, project uh, that I will not really have any further details on so far in in my house here okay this thing is decided to be a bitch today so I have to force it out that's fine with me if you want to play it hardball so let's pull out the hard drive of this Toshiba satellite pro laptop right now as you can see it's an IDE hard drive it's a Toshiba MK4006 MAV 4,099 megabytes. So it's a 4 gig. Just like compact flash card over there. So it's not really an upgrade in storage per se, but it is quite an upgrade, nevertheless. Because flash storage is a hell of a lot more durable than these old hard drives are. So this is going to storage. Because it is in pretty good condition right now, but I actually want to keep it that way. If I come across any old laptops in the future, I can actually, you know, still have back it up or use a backup drive. As a, that's pretty much this thing here. I don't really know what I'm going at, but uh, anyway, it's time uh, to undo these screws and I see how I can uh, find a proper way of mounting the compact flash card. That should be interesting. Okay, the compact flash card is now installed, and I've uh, taken the liberty to uh, put my Windows 98 CD-ROM in there, so I could uh, so I can check if there is actually a partition in there. Here is the Toshiba hard drive, the 4 gig one that I took out. On the back, it says 499 megabytes as well. All nice and fun. But uh, let's focus on the screen here. Let's type F disk. And let's see if we can actually find a partition on this thing. I will take liberty to actually 
Make it a bit darker in here. Okay, let's go to four. Let's see. We have partition C, primary DOS, FAT32, 3,823 megabytes. Flame Labor Transcend. That is, in fact, the compact flash card. So we have successfully upgraded the Toshiba Satellite Pro for 80 CDT to compact flash or flash storage. Hell yes. I guess it's now time to uh, slap some windows on there and see what it does. But uh, that will be a future video. This is just the upgrade video. So stay tuned for more. I can't wait to see how big of a difference this really is. It certainly is whisper quiet now. There's absolutely not a single component in this laptop right now making any noise, aside from the CD drive and it's spinning up. Liking it so far.